So the body of our Plymouth satellite was in pretty good shape. So all we had to use was a little bit of filler primer to fill in some of the low spots before we could sand the whole thing with a thousand grit sandpaper. Now that that's complete, we can move on and we're going to be using our Duplicolor Paint Shop Finish System. First, we'll use the primer. The primer will be very important to this project because we're going to use a chrome yellow with jet black racing stripes as our color scheme. That primer will make sure that our yellow shines through really well and looks great on our paint job. Then, to make it a little bit tough and fit this kind of muscle car image, we're going to be using our paint shop metallic clear. We'll use our gloss clear coat afterwards. So before we get started with all that, I'm going to use our grease and wax remover just to make sure there's no more debris on there after we got done sanding. And we'll give it a nice wipe all the way over, and then we'll come back with a tack cloth before we can roll it into the spray booth and get started. spray boots up and we masked off the areas that we don't want to get paint on and we went back with our grease and wax remover and cleaned the whole car and then we went back with a tack cloth to make sure there was just no more dust on there and we're ready to put down a coat of paint. Before we do that, we're going to put a little water on the floor to make sure any of the dirt that might be down there doesn't get in our paint job. So the first part of our project will be to use our paint shop primer. To do that, in any of our other paint shop primers, you want to make sure that you get a Duplicolor straining kit. In this kit, it comes a filter and a stir stick. So with any of these lacquer-based products, you don't have to use any reducer or anything like that. All you got to do is give them a quick stir, make sure it's evenly mixed up in there, and then use your filter to put into the gun. And that'll make it a good spray that'll go down nice and even. So you want to open up your can, and as you see in your Duplicolor straining kit, you'll have your filters and then also your stir stick. So you want to give this a good stir. Test it by pulling it up to see if there's any thick parts. It's so ready, to, ready to use. Just pour it right in the gun after you mixed it up. All right, we'll get hooked up, and then we'll be ready to go. So now that we put down our three coats of primer, we let it dry for about 15 minutes, and now we're ready to put down our color coat. So when applying the color coat, you want to do the same prep that we did before for the primer. Use your Dupa color straining kit, open your lid, use your stir stick to make sure you mix up the paint pretty well. This yellow looks really nice. Then pick up your gun, get your strainer, we're ready to pour our paint, and again, the strainer is used to remove any large particles that could clog your spray gun. All right, let's go have some fun. So for our next step, we put our color coat down, our chrome yellow. The chrome yellow is not a metallic, but if we wanted to give it a metallic look, we can use the Duplicolor Metallic Clear. This is a mid-coat effect that will go on before our gloss clear, but it will give it that metallic shimmer. So I'll go ahead and show you how this looks. So you want to stir it. Let the color coat dry for about 15 minutes before you apply the mid-coat effect. Put the cap back on. We're ready to go. So our chrome yellow with our metallic med coat clear is looking great. Now with all that hard work we put in, we want to make sure we protect it. And to do that, we're going to use our gloss clear 
and we're going to make sure we put down about three coats. That'll give it a nice, durable, clear finish that'll also look really great. All right, let's finish this project. So with the clear coat complete, we'll wait about six hours before we do any wet sanding or buffing. But then once that's all done, it'll look really nice. And then we'll come back, we'll put everything back in the car, and we'll be ready for the big reveal. So stay tuned and make sure you see how it all turned out.